All right, welcome. So today we're looking at some Pokemon cards that I have. Um, as I promised, we are using face cam. Of course, you can't see me uh, because I'm using the face cam to look at the cards. Fun. I don't have another camera, so this is going to have to do. Um, so I've been thinking about doing this for a while because I, I, when me and my brother were kids, we used to open cards and it would just be like, we got the, uh, what was it? The, the Torterra pack. We had, I still have the Torterra somewhere, but, uh, I've recently got into, uh, just whenever I, I got by the dollar store, I'd go and I'd pick up the three pack packs and I'd pick up cards. So today we're looking at some cards that I have and there's a special surprise at the end because I actually pulled an extremely rare card in one of those dollar store packs wildly. So I have this, which I got at a freaking uh, Kmart or something. Sorry about the blurriness. Uh, uh, I kind of had to throw this together. I don't have a better way to, to show this and I don't have a rig that I haven't built one yet. I'm working on that. And also this is probably gonna be the only video that I do this sort of thing. So uh, bear with me here. So I'm just gonna run through uh, a pack that I've been building or a deck and then I'm gonna go into some really neat cards that I just like and a lot of them are, are hollows or reverse hollows or, or that sort of thing. So to start off we got this little coin right here. Just a nine tails coin. It's a little bit neat. And then we get into the deck itself. It came in this tin that has this this illustration on the back. Very difficult to see from this angle, but I'm not moving the camera. Um, I'm sure if you look up the, what is it even called? United Minds or something? That. If you look up that, you'll be able to see what that looks like. It has the, the Mew tin. If you call it the Mew M-E-W tin, then you'll probably find it. So first off, we got this set right here. So we got Salandit, who is uh, just setting his back on fire with smog. You can probably read that a little bit. Then of course we have Salazzle, who's looking down in the glass because why wouldn't you want that looking up at you? Or looking, if that was looking up at you, you probably are way past screwed. Um, if you can't tell already, I'm trying to build a I'm trying to build a fire pack or something. I've got all these like energies and and stuff like that. Fire energies, psychic energies. Like those. I really like uh, these energies, the way that they look as compared to the ones in the last um, in the last sets. This is of course an outdated set at this point because we're going through the sword and shield sets. I watch a lot of Leonhardt doing his deal, um, so I know I know a little bit about what's current and what's what's not because he always gets the current stuff and many times in Japanese. We've got the Alolan Grimer right there with Collect and Sludge Bomb. That's actually a pretty neat move. I'm trying to learn more about Pokemon cards, but I don't have the most time to do it. So uh, the best I've been able to do is just to just to to look into how to build these these decks. So they have like 60 cards in a deck and um, of course you you want to build a deck that complements itself. So you have the Pokemon that will evolve into other Pokemon and uh, energies that will allow you to do the moves and, and stuff like that and other trainer cards. This is a holographic Victini which I don't know if that's rare at all. Probably read that, probably. We'll find out later. When I'm editing and it's too late there's another Slazzle and a more, uh, a more classic style. Suffocating gas and gnaw. That's what you like to see when you, uh, when you walk into a room. Both of those things happening at the same time. There's Meowstic, which is always a very neat Pokemon. It looks neat. Catterday, just, just ignore that. And then Esper, which is also a very neat Pokemon. But also has Catterday. And one of my favorite Pokemon, Reverse Holographic Ghastly. Sleep Poison, which you can't, you probably can't read that very well. You know what, let me, let me see if I can't, let me see if I can't. Ignore this noise really quick, it's gonna be, 
just like that. And then, hopefully that's better. Let's try this color. No. This one? And then if I do this. Has it helped at all? One second. Hopefully that helped a little bit. I have these lights set up for when I start doing horror Let's Plays, so hopefully that helps a little bit. So then we got Curlia, which is just neat because it's holographic. Call Mine, Psychic Boom. Not a real move, but maybe in the card game. This one, which is a little bit bent, which is just raw straight up. Reverse holographic, always neat. This one, which I've had for a very long time, so the, you know, just age has gone to it, it's all scratchy. It's a holographic, of course. You love to see it. Skorupi, just knock off and bug bite. Very interesting art right there. I'll actually just slide that under. Yes, yes, yes. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. Last scene. Always interesting. But that's just Poiple right there. I'm gonna quickly clear off this set because I've just been kind of tossing the cards on and hoping that they uh, are, are that there's enough room by the end. And uh, there isn't is the is the answer is the real answer right here. There's not enough room for that. But we've gone through most of the deck, so I'll just quickly run through the rest. We got Vigoroth with Rar and Slash. Both real moves. Not sure if he can learn that in the games though. And then we have Slackoth, which means I can actually evolve that this Slackoth into that Vigoroth if I have uh, both cards in the deck in the right circumstances, which is what you want to see. I, the, the thing I do know about the card game is that you want to... Persian, another one of my favorite Pokemon. You want to line up the Pokemon with the right energy cards and the right trainer cards so that you can be able to uh, have it all line up. Just with all card game, just the same with all card games. If you can't get your strategy to happen, then you're pretty much screwed. Flap. That's his move. He can flap. Uh, no, I have all these normal types because they're decently, decently strong, and uh, I have a lot of normal type energies, as you probably saw. I can't remember if I showed you. Then we've got two knocked owls. Move that one out of the way. I haven't figured out how to focus this camera. I said that in a different video. So, one day I'll figure it out. It took me actually like 10 minutes to figure out how to how to set up this this camera to, to be as focused as it is. I think the big problem though is the angle that I'm facing down, because it's facing like down like this at that angle. So it's really close. I could lift it up. I think most people have, again, a rig that just points straight down, but uh, I'm using a really crappy tripod that just isn't that great. So. I can't go as high as other people probably can. Air Slash though. Then I have the exact same card, but not holographic at all. Um, then I have this, look at that, it's a it's a shiny Jigglypuff. You can tell because of the green eyes. With Pound. This is a very old card, I think. Probably a reprint. It says, nine, it says 99 to 2000, so... Whatever that means. I saw Ken, Su Su Ken Sugimori just threw my mouse off the table. Fantastic. Kagimaru Himeno. Let me just brutalize Japanese names while I, while I do this. We have a bunch of trainer cards. 
but I'm only going to show you the interesting ones because I feel like this is a little bit boring. Let me just sort through this really quick. Really quick. I like that card. No. I like that card. That one's interesting, but no. No. That's a good one. I like that one. And no. Okay. That many cards that I'm not going to show you because they're boring. But I got this card, which is pretty neat. Blues Tactics. Draw eight cards and, or draw cards at the end of the turn until you have eight in your hand. Pretty neat card. This one, Tag Switch. And it's Reverse Holographic. This one is a Cherish Ball, which is neat because it allows you to draw a GX Pokemon from your from your deck, I think. Yes. The Ace Trainer, which is only really cool because it has the holographic. I actually have two of these, and the other one's not Reverse Holographic. Then Coach Trainer, which is also Reverse Holographic. Don't really care what it does, just cool to look at. And then of course we have Sobble, who I tested the focus out with in the very beginning. You probably didn't see that though. Okay, then last but not least, we have this one which is in a cover for some reason. We have Arcanine, reverse holographic. Excellent moves, I think. Don't Again, I don't know that much about the game. I'm gonna put that back in the cover because why not? And then we'll get into these cards, which are just a bunch of cool cards that I had that I was like, I like these cards, they're cool. So I'm gonna run through these really quickly because I know you want to get to the card that actually matters, which is the card that I was talking about in the beginning, the surprise card. So we got Neuvern, 120, Supersonic, Resonance. Wait, yes, Resonance. Buzzwell, 130, 30 plus, Sledgehammer, Swing Round, 80 plus. Then we got Clodzer, which is a reverse holographic. Nothing, nothing new there. Delmize, which is one of my favorite Pokemon just because I love ghost type Pokemon. Sea Creeper Net. That's what happens when a creeper catches you in the sea with a net. Go figure. Then I got Ariados, which is a spider. One of my first shinies that I hunted, actually, in Sun and Moon. First Sun and Moon when I got back into Pokemon. Uh, Scyther. This is a... What are you doing there? It's tracking the Scyther, that's pretty neat. Um, Scyther, one of my favorite Pokemon. I think that's actually one of the one of the old illustrations. I'm probably wrong, but I feel like it is. Lorantis, which is a reverse holographic. Pretty neat. Good Pokemon, I think. Dark Gloom, which is probably rare, a rare card. But, you know, probably tear it in half later. No biggie. Just joking, I'd never do that. Never. Some people would though, some people would be like, hey, look at this neat card, it's probably super expensive. Rip. Oh, this one, reverse holographic. I like how it's the typing, it's the leaves. The leaves on it from uh, from its typing. Then there's this card. I remember getting this card a long time ago in the Torterra pack that I was telling you about. Uh, I don't know if that's true, that's just what I remember. And it's shiny, I think, which is neat. That's two for two on the shiny radar. Um, and we got this guy, reverse. A lot of these are reverse holographic just because uh, I pulled them out and thought, hey, these are the shiny ones. These are the ones people wanna see. Petal Blizzard. Happiny with a Playhouse heel because that's all they know how to do. They can't actually heal, just play house heal. Drag off and Dragon Tail. You know, Dredagon is a, a very interesting Pokemon just because it's uh, it's not actually that good of a Pokemon, but it looks cool, so. And then this one, which you can't really pronounce the name of correctly, just cause, how do you even say that? Then you have Dugong, which is a classic. Look at that, look at that, the way that, that glitters. You probably can't see it the way I can. It looks fantastic. 
Ooh, love the way this one looks. With that, with that lightning bolt back there. You can see that really nicely right there. Ooh, and then this one. Look at this guy. This is that GX that I could pull if I uh, used that Cherish Ball, I believe. Maybe it works differently, differently for tag teams. Tandem Shock and Lightning Ride GX. Then this one, which is a holographic Latios. With a Dive and Aqua Blast. And then a holographic Palkia. Again, like, there's a lot of these holographic ones that are just sort of like, did we pull these or, or like, were these promotional? Because they probably were promotional. This one, which I pulled recently, just a, a holographic Sandaconda, Power Press, and Sand Sack, where he keeps all his sand. We got Cosmog the first with Splash. Then we got Cosmog the second with uh, Mumble. Because who, who can uh, resist doing a good old Splash and Mumble? Then this one, which is really cool, which is freaking a full art wishy-washy. The art in this is really cool. It has, what does it have? Scatter and Hydro Splash. I really like this one, like the way, I just, you know, I don't particularly like Wishy Washy. Um, it's shiny, it's pretty interesting, and I don't like that girl, but the way they drew that was really cool. And here's another one of my favorite, whoops. Here's another one of my favorite Pokemon, Vespaquin. And it's a full art. Well, is it a full art? I don't know how they refer to this. B drain and fury swipes. But yeah. It's a it's a partial full art. From uh from a freaking pull pack that I did. One of those three card packs. And then that's it. Here's another ghastly for ya. Just because. You guys fade out. As I'm going to fade out the screen. Except except. We have one last card, the Magnum Opus. I pulled this a couple weeks ago, before, actually months ago, be, just before quarantine started. I opened the packs and pulled this card. I could not believe it. I could not believe I pulled a gold card from a from a freaking three card pack. Um, I'm actually gonna move the camera just because I, I do want to get this one, actually. Can you see that? Yes, yes, yes. Look at that beauty right there. Freaking gold card, baby. Um, I'm proud that I did 0% work. Well, actually I did work. I mean, if you consider money transfers into work and the amount of work you did in order to pay for the thing that you got. So I guess I did work hard for this. And also it was quite a few packs before I actually found one of these. And they were the dollar ones. So I guess I didn't spend that much money on it. But still, you have to, you have to appreciate that uh, this exists and I own it pretty neat just a regular old gold card it looks amazing in person uh, again when I when I first got it could not believe what I was looking at thank you so much for watching if you watched all the way through uh, hope you like that card I do um, I think it works with ultra beasts possibly maybe Yes, it does. It sort of works with Ultra Beasts. So, uh, I like Ultra Beasts. They're, they're pretty neat. I like Poipo a lot. And I have quite a few Ultra Beasts in here. So, I'll get a cover on that, hopefully soon. And then, uh, it'll be protected for the rest of its life. Until, uh, one of those jerk channels that tears cards in half finds me and tears my card in half. Because that's what they do. They hunt people down and tear their cards in half. Thank you for watching, uh, expect more content soon. Again, this is the face cam without the face. The next video will most more than likely be the face cam with the face and the horror games. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you then. Oh, no, that's not my outro. I'll catch you all on the flip side.